Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to determine the half-life if given a graph. Um, you can always feel free to reference this first page, which actually has um, all of the directions, but I'm just going to go through an example with these uh, steps. So here's an example. Um, your half-life graph um, that you'd be determining the half-life from would have some type of an amount, maybe it's counts, maybe it's number of atoms, um, but some type of count unit on the y-axis versus time on your x-axis, and you should have this kind of um, logarithmic um, graph that would be produced. So how would I use this to figure out the half-life? So all you do is just select any point on your graph to start with, um, I find the starting point sometimes most convenient. Um, in this case, it would be at 80. Um, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to half of 80 because after one half-life, half of my starting amount should be present. So half of 80 is 40. So I'm just going to draw a vertical line down to 40, and then I'm going to go across till I hit my best fit curve again. And the length of this horizontal line should give me the half-life. Um, so it's about 0 to 6, so it's about 6 days as my half-life. You can pick any, gra any point on the graph to start with. So let's say I started with 40. Go down to half of it, which would be 20, and go back until I touch the graph again. And again, the length of this horizontal line is my half-life. In this case, I'm going from 6 to 12 days, so again, that's a half-life of 6 days. Um, if you have a correct graph for a first order decay, um, which is what radioactivity is, you should be getting um, a relatively constant half-life given some experimental error. So just showing again with another example. Um, here's another example. Okay, here I'm starting, I can pick any point on the graph to start with, point, pick a point on your best fit curve, go down to half, and go across, and the length again of that horizontal line gives me the half-life, in this case two days, and I can do that again at any point on my graph just to confirm 40 down to 20, which is half of it, and across still gives me two days. Okay, again, just make sure you're picking a point on your actual best fit line, go down to half, which would be what's left after a half-life, and then go across and the length of that horizontal line is your half-life. If you have to show your work on the graph, um, this is what it should kind of look like.